Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. See me live my life every day of March, so be ready to be bored, cause this is Flarch. Good morning, good morning. Goodness gracious, I didn't wash my face last night. I look a mess. And I still got a rip in my foot. Um, anyway. Um, it is... 10 o'clock. I gotta finish some schoolwork. Oh gosh. I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, question mark. I don't have anything else to say, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I do. I have a bunch to say. No, I think about it. So today. In um, reading, so Miss Arview is a title teacher, okay, and she does title for all the title kids, you know, and then she does reading group for all the non-title kids. So I'm in reading group. So um, we've been working on the last like week, we or week or two, I should say, we've been working on writing a narrative. Each kid wrote their own narrative, and I based mine off of a true story. So actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and read it to you right now. So we did like a four square and then we um, um, read everything out on a piece of paper and then read, that's not a word, we wrote everything out on a piece of paper and then we typed it up and sent it to our teacher and I'm just going to, real quick, I need to do some work but I have to read this to you, it'll only be like three seconds. So just, there's someone particular watching this video right now that it's based on. So as soon as this, the third word, it's gonna tell you exactly who it's about. So, um, and then I'll tell you what she said about it when we're done, when I'm done reading it. BB Melanie was driving down the road, or driving down the street on a Friday afternoon to pick up some food for her grandkids. She decided that Walmart would be a great place to get everything she needs. Aw oh, man, said Melanie as she was looking for a place to park. The spot I usually park in is taken. Melanie found a different spot to park in and then went inside. Melanie grabbed a cart and went straight to the frozen food section to grab some antitizer chicken wings. Barbecue or original, thought Melanie in her mind. Uh, I'll go with the barbecue. After Melanie checked out, she began to walk outside to unload her groceries. Melanie walked to the spot where she parked her car. Her car wasn't in the spot where she usually parked it. Oh no, shouted Melanie as she looked around. Someone must have stolen my car. She asked the lady that was sitting on a bench if she had seen anything. I haven't seen a thing, said the lady. Then Melanie reached into her pocket and pulled out her phone. Suddenly, Melanie dials 911 faster than she ever thought she could. The operator answered, and Melanie said nervously, I'm at Walmart, and I think someone stole my car. The operator responded with, The police are on their way. When the cops arrived, they asked Melanie a lot of questions. Then they searched all over for her truck and asked Walmart workers if they had seen anything suspicious. Just as one of the officers went walked inside the store to look at the, their security cameras, the other officer said, Is this it? Melanie turned her head quickly toward the officer, and then she sighed. Yes, yes it is. Melanie had just remembered that she had parked her car in a different spot than the normal than she usually did, because the other spot was taken. Melanie then apologized to the officers with embarrassment. I'm so sorry to call and waste your time like that. It's fine, said responded one of the officers. Stuff like this happens all the time. Ever since that day, Melanie has told almost all of her friends and family that story, and they all laugh. So, Grandma, I just want to tell, oh, you guys can, you guys, anybody can still listen, but Miss Arvey said that is one of the best narratives she has ever, so, <laughs> so, when I got in there, um, she, she said that she just immediately said, Josie, that was one of the best narratives I've ever read. Um, one of the best that any of the kids have done. And so, here's the thing. <laughs> so she, she asked me if she could read mine to the class today. And um, I said, sure, why not? Because she was like, uh, she was like, 
because she read it to other classes, but and she read a bunch of stories to other classes, the good ones and the bad ones. Um, but she just marked out the names so no one like knew who had done the stories. But yeah, so ow, my foot, ow, oh, they crap, ow, ow, my foot, oh, my foot, my foot, my foot. Anyway, ow, oh, that hurts so bad. Sorry, this is getting too long. Um, anyway. So, uh, she read it, and she didn't tell anybody my name. Yeah, I told her she could, but she didn't. And then, um, one of the kids after, they all, so she asked the kids what they liked about it and what they didn't like about it, and not to brag, but no one said anything about what they didn't like about it. And that was before they even knew that it was me that wrote it. And then, um, she, one of the kids said, well, if that one was so good, I can't wait to see Josie." And then Miss Herbie was like, that was Josie's. And then everybody was like, oh, what? Oh, what, what? Anyway, I'm going to stop bragging now. And I'm going to move on with life. So, yeah, Grandma, you got me an A-plus in um, reading group. So, thanks for that. Um, but I did change up a lot of stuff that happened because I didn't get the full story. But I needed to add more details. So, that's what I did. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is already like a full vlog. I've just videoed for seven minutes, but I'll see you guys later. Okay, um, sorry about that. Oh, I'm so tired. This is gonna be such a boring vlog. I'm going to pick out what I'm wearing today. <laughs> um, man, I look a mess. And I'm gonna actually get ready for the day because I just not doing anything at all right now. So that's fun. So I'm gonna get ready and I would like to get a few photos taken. Um, because I need to get a good photo for my profile pic. Um, for my main channel, and then I need to, I want to get a couple pics on Instagram, and a puckle, a puckle kips, a, a puckle kips, <coughs> and then I also want to bring up the keyboard, because I, if you guys don't know, there's two instruments that I want and have learned to play, um, I pretty much learned I need to try to get I need to try to coach my fingers to get a few more like chords that I can do um with ukulele and then I want to learn how to play piano and read music because yeah so yeah I I'll see you guys later bye okay guys I'm currently outside and I don't know it's just like 70 degrees out here and, um, it's so weird because, like, you know how we're, we live, like, on Alby, okay? So, like, that's, I can't scroll that way, but that, that's right there, that's Alby Road. And so, it's, like, a very, um, common road, not, like, common, you know, like, a lot of, if you are in the Alton Godfrey area, that's the road you take to get from Godfrey to Alton. That's one of the roads. Okay, so if you like live in the Alton School District, you're probably on that road a lot. Which means like there's probably like a bunch of people that know me, they're just seeing me like doing squats out here. And they're just casually driving down the road looking at this crazy person that some people might know doing squats in their backyard um so where was I going with this I don't know but that yeah anyway I was just doing some squats because it's 70 degrees out here and um I wanted to actually take some food because I got ready today as you can maybe tell so I want to take some uh hang on I gotta push my hair back give me a second so I wanted to also take some um, Instagram photos, or not just Instagram, probably my profile pics too, but I'll probably have to take those inside. 
and I feel like I just might have rubbed mascara all over my face. So, um, I'll be back. I walked inside to get something heavy to set my phone up on, but I wanted to add something. It's also that time of day where, um, <coughs> um, kids are getting off school. So buses, every bus, pretty much every bus passes our house, which means pretty much every kid that goes to my school passes our house. So, yeah. So they're just gonna see me out here doing squats, which I'm okay with. So, we don't wanna drop my phone, oh my phone. Okay, sorry, I gotta go. sweating that's okay I got a long workout to do and I gotta go get some water so I'll be weeks and months and years they pass and I knew it wouldn't last when tears dream down my face my mama said all the nights that end in heartbreak gonna pay off someday and the pain that you're feeling again um so I didn't I felt I feel like I didn't vlog much today except I did vlog a lot like there was a lot of footage but I didn't vlog like everything I was doing I don't know but um so after like a little while I don't know what time of the day it was but um Ma brought the kids over and we rehearsed Waitresses the Musical and we played outside for a little while because the weather was amazing. Um, but yeah, that's what we did um, earlier. And then me and Macy played on the parachute out on the hill um, by Freer for like hours. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all that I didn't vlog. Um, but the rest, yeah. Um, still got a band-aid on my foot, and I'm sorry, I just realized yesterday <laughs> I should have, like, warned you guys that I was going to show you, like, a big, like, <laughs> like, chunk of my skin that wasn't on my foot, <laughs> because I looked back and I was like, wow, that's really disgusting, I should have warned everybody um, that I was about to show that, but, um, so sorry about that, but, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, um, love you guys, see you tomorrow.